Well, while we wait for the upcoming GTA Expanded and Enhanced, which again, by the way, comes out in like two and a half weeks and Rockstar is still very silent with it. But while we wait for that, let's quickly hop back to GTA 6. Because uh, obviously GTA 6 is still years off probably, and we don't really know a whole bunch. But what we do know are, are some interesting things. One of those interesting things happened yesterday. A new Rockstar patent was discovered. And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of insane sounding. I don't know how they're going to pull this off, but if they do, it's going to make the game, I think, so much better. So if any of that interests you, well then, this is the video for you. So, the patent link, I'll leave a link, I guess, in the description. It's it's a freaking Word document page, but like, it's, this is what it says, okay? The U.S. Patent Application Publication. And uh, underneath that, you can see the applicant is Take-Two Interactive, so, you know, Rockstar. Uh, the inventors, the two people, Philip de Jarmo and Robert Schmitz, hopefully I said those names right, those are actual Rockstar employees. I believe one of them is the head network manager or something like that. And the actual application at the bottom right, this is the description. The Disclose system allows for seamless merging and splitting of network sessions in a multiplayer network gaming environment. Seamless sh session management allows dynamic movement of players in a virtual world during gameplay without unnecessary loading and or stalling. As the players in the virtual world move around, they are the management of active game sessions can be improved to affect a more realistic perceived population. So what does that all mean? Basically, this patent is sort of outlining a system that allows Rockstar to seamlessly switch a player from one session to another without a loading screen. Obviously, loading screens in GTA Line right now are like one of the biggest issues. We all hate them. And this new patent would sort of make loading screens obsolete, which if again, if they can pull that off, that would be so much better than what we have at the moment. And what this also kind of means is that the map might be freaking huge for this game. Because let's just say you're flying, you know, from one area of the map to another. And because the map's so large, it, it sort of partitions parts of the map into different servers. And when you are flying from, like, let's say one city to maybe even another city, you will switch into a new session without any loading. Like, this is a picture i seen. Obviously, it's a fan-made map in the background. But this is somewhat of what you could see. Each part of the map, if the map is so big, it would be different players or more players in different parts of it, which would mean that the map in the world would feel way more alive with players. Because let's say you start out in the city, the one you know where it says 40 players on the right in the pink, and you're like, you know what? I want to go to the other side of the map, or I want to go to the, the, I don't know, away from the city, out in nature. Well, you take a plane or something and then you head up to the top left and there there's still a bunch of players. So it doesn't ever feel like the world is empty because that's one of the, the, the sort of issues with GTA Online at the moment. A lot of people spend their time down in the city. And if you ever go up to, you know, the north of the map, Forts and Kudo, uh, Sandy Shores, any of those areas, there's not many players up there, which is a good thing sometimes because there's less grief. You don't have to worry about it, but it's also kind of annoying because it's like there's less interaction. So this would solve that, and I think that's actually really cool. Now, I guess there's a bunch of uh, questions with this, of, of course, like what happens if you and a buddy are like going from one session to the other? D do you just see your friend disappear in front of you? Like, obviously, I, I don't, I'm not going to pretend to know how that's all going to work, and I'm not going to pretend to know how Rockstar is going to deal with that. You know, maybe if you're in... A group together it it puts you guys all on the same server uh, again there's a lot of questions for sure a lot of technical questions but overall this is actually really cool also i see people maybe like <laughs> maybe this would lead to an increase of griefing at, at like highway checkpoints maybe there's like a part where you just spawn in like where you switch servers and you just show up and there's just a guy there with an rpg I, again there, there's some things i'm sure they'd have to figure out but I do think this sort of indicates that the map's going to be relatively big. And I know that maybe goes against some of the rumors that we've gotten over the last couple of years 
One of them being that Rockstar said GTA 6 was going to be sort of a smaller scale, at least compared to what they've done in the past. And then they'll just continually update it. But I mean, I don't know if the map is so big where they're they're trying to figure out they're they're patenting a system to switch serve or switch lobbies basically on the same map like that just sort of indicates it's a pretty big freaking map you guys in the comments can let me know i just thought this was a very cool little thing again i'll leave a link to the patent in the description if you want to take a look at it again though it's not really much more than what i showed and i'm actually curious do you think this is a good thing like do you like the fact that maybe in gta 6 online wherever you go there'll always be people for the most part or do you kind of like what we have now where there's a part of the city where you can go to get a lot of interaction or if you wanted to just you know get away from people you can go up north and sort of live in isolation or you know play the game away from a lot of players obviously there's pros and cons to both sides but i don't know i, I do like the idea of more people because that just means more fun usually but as always, with these sort of GTA 6 things, we'll just have to wait and see. This is just a patent at the moment, so I'm sure they're, they're just trying to figure it out. And Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it does. Who knows? But it is for sure exciting to see that this is one of the things they're trying to do. Let me know in the comments again if or what you guys think about this. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.